In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the HoneyBook scheduler. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, and I love to teach other creatives how to start and grow their businesses. A big part of that is having a well streamlined client management system like HoneyBook. I have reviewed a lot of the top client management systems, including HoneyBook, and I have a ton of other tutorials here on my channel. So check out that full client management playlist in order to learn about all the different features of each one and choose what's right for you. If you decide to go with HoneyBook, I do have a code for 35% off. I'll link the link in the description, or you can tell them Lainey sent you. To get to the scheduler, you can do tools scheduler, but I'm actually going to go into my templates. HoneyBook now calls their templates smart files, and scheduler is one piece of that, but I want to make sure you think about it as a piece of a larger function. So this smart file, for instance, has a services, an invoice, a contract, and a payment processor all in one. So yes, we can do schedulers by themselves, but you can also use them as a piece with any of these other things like invoice, contract, questions, services, payments, proposals, etc. So schedules are just a part of that. And I have a longer video on smart files if you want to see kind of how it all connects. So we'll go into create new and we'll do a scheduler template. And in here, you'll see a lot of things you can customize. This is your client information. Um, and this is the scheduler option. We don't have any sessions set up, so we're going to need to create a session for the first time. And I'll do a phone call. We'll just do like a 30 minute consultation. I would like to make this call. I would advise not giving out your phone number all the time to your clients. Um, and we'll select just a few pieces of information. When can this be scheduled? If it can anytime be scheduled or on a rolling window or a fixed date range, uh, you can choose that. I'm just going to go with indefinitely here. And then I want this session to be purple just so that I always recommend. This is where you can provide instructions for the invitees. So they'll receive this via email. So can't wait to chat with you. I will call you at the scheduled time. If you are more than five minutes late, we will have to reschedule. You can say, here's a blog post of some helpful information before we meet. Um, send me your Pinterest board for your wedding invitations before we meet. Uh, whatever information that you want to provide them that will be helpful to them. There's a lot of things you can do here. And then you can set these little reminders before the session. So we have a day and an hour, which is pretty good. So next we're gonna go into our availability and you can set an amount of time to block before and after client schedules. I don't wanna have a call right after a previous call. So I'm just gonna have at least 30 minutes between each call on either end. And then minimum notice would be two days. I'm gonna change that to one day because it's okay if they book something tomorrow, but it's not okay if they book something later today. And then custom increments is going to be making this smaller. I'm just going to keep it at 30 because that works for me. And I can change my availability here. So if I don't want to have any calls on Mondays or Thursdays, I will just remove that here. And maybe on Fridays, I don't want to meet after 1 p.m. And on Tuesday, you know, I'm going to sleep in a little bit. So I'm going to change that till 10 a.m. So these are the only options that people have for booking this and you can see what it's gonna look like as you schedule out. And then here will be their confirmation page. They're going to pull in this information, which is not editable. It's like a smart file, so it'll pull from what they schedule. And then we can change some of these functions here as far as like allowing them to reschedule. I don't wanna do that, but I will allow them to cancel if they want. So I'll save and finish. And you can have as many different um, sessions as you want here. Uh, we might have to do a quick refresh since we created that session. And so now we have this 30 minute consultation here and we can select what kind of session. You can see it changed here. So see your availability, go to preview. Um, this is what your client is going to see here. Now what's really cool about this scheduler and when you're thinking about it as part of a larger context in the smart files is these two options here. So you can make it so they have to schedule a session to move to the next option, which maybe is like the contract or the payment or something. And then you can also make it so they must pay to reserve a session so they can select a time slot and then it's not going to book until after they pay, which is really, really wonderful. So the invoice can be added to your file and now they'll be able to see that invoice and know 
everything that they need to do. Let's view the invoice here. Cool, okay, so we can add the session in here. So we'll do like 30 men consult and that's going to be $60. We'll do one. And so that's the invoice that's gonna be saved on this particular session. And we could update the payment. Uh, for instance, we probably wanna do just like a full, we probably want this to just be um, the full payment right here. And we probably don't need this payment. We just need one payment schedule because they're gonna pay for it all in full. So now this smart file technically has a scheduler, an invoice, and a payment in it. So three different things that they're going to see as they move through the smart file. And that's why it's important to view the scheduler as a piece of a larger automation or streamlined process within your HoneyBook flow. Another great thing you can do is add questions. So these won't change the scheduler information. If you need to use the 30 minute scheduler on a different form, you absolutely can. But this is gonna allow you to collect some questions. So for instance, how would you describe your wedding vision? Or if you're a DJ or something, how would you describe the vibe of your event? Uh, what are some songs you absolutely hate? How did you hear about us? There's just so many different things you can do here. And so I think when we, when we consider the scheduler, it's really, really helpful. And that's why you're here in this video because you want to learn about a scheduler. But with HoneyBook, you can just put it in the context of so many other things. So now we're getting questions, we're getting information, we're scheduling the appointment, we're getting the $60 deposit, whatever it is. So this would be a great option if you wanted to do like, you know, if you want a consultation, you have to pay a deposit and then that will be taken off of your final invoice or something like that. That would be a really great option here. So you could just change this invoice to say like $60 session fee will be deducted from final booking price or something like that. And so this is just there's so many possibilities here with this scheduler because you can incorporate it into so many other things with the smart files. So we'll just update this template. And I'm gonna preview what it looks like for a client. And it looks very, very similar to exactly what we thought, but when you click next, you'll get the payment and then you'll get the uh, payment information as well. So exit the preview and then how would you send it to a client? You can go into your projects. You can click on this and click send smart file and go into your schedule or options and we will send this one. You can also update it at this moment for just this specific client if you had any additional questions to ask or anything else. Another cool option is in the automation section, you can actually send smart files. So if you do a smart file via email, you can actually select your um, new scheduler smart file and you can use that as an automation and that can be sent like a certain number of days after it's activated, after the project is started, after the contract is signed. Just so many different triggers here that you can use to send that scheduler automatically without having to physically send it yourself. And then if you want to create more types of sessions or see your overall scheduler, you can use this scheduler tab and then all of your appointments will be on your HoneyBook calendar. So you can see everything that's coming up here and click into them and go to the jobs and just all the different things that you want to do with that information. So if this video was helpful in showing you how to use the HoneyBook scheduler, it's really intuitive. It's super easy to use. I love that you can add questions. You can require them to do it. You can put it in the middle of a smart file and you can accept a payment with it. So you can always view all of your different options on the scheduler tab. Or what I like to do is go into the templates folder and create the scheduling templates here so that you're kind of reminded of all those other things that you can do with them within the context of smart files. Let me know what questions you have about HoneyBook. Again, my link will get you 35% off if you you are interested in testing out HoneyBook and we have a whole lot of tutorials on all their different features here on our client management and HoneyBook playlists. Thanks everybody.